Okay, folks. So, I got some stuff. I'm going to boot it up. Let's see. Press the uh, power button. And it's booting up right now. So I got the sound on. They're tiny speakers, but uh, it takes a while to boot up. So this is uh, i7 7700K, water blocked from Corsair with the uh, Asus ROG uh, Republic of Gamers uh, GTX 1080 Ti. And it's booting up right now. And there you go. It has uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Now you see that blue lights? Well, it's not matching the red, so watch what happens. I'll say yes. Now watch the lights. Ta -da. So, uh, that blue down there is actually purple. So if I get closer, then you can tell. It's not blue. It's purple. Because there's a blue cable right there. Okay? Why am I doing this? Why am I showing you? Well, for one thing, this is Windows 10. I'm going to upgrade it to Windows 11. They will not allow Windows 11 because I have an i7 7700K. So if I go to Disk Management, there's Drive C. I got a secure uh, boot on. So everything's ready to go. If I go into Settings again, Update and security. See, this PC doesn't currently meet the minimum cent. And then if I go to uh, PC health check, and I think I already have it on here. Let's see. I think I got PC health check on here. Maybe not. I thought I did. Yes, I do. Okay. Check now. See? The processor. See all the results. Everything is good. TPM2, stuff like that. It's just a processor. I got the latest BIOS version. But... They just don't want this processor, 4K, eight threads. They don't want to support it anymore. So, show you that computer. And I'm gonna show you. I got the Asus ROG Strix B650E. E gaming Wi-Fi, AM or AM5, okay, with Wi-Fi 6E. I got the AMD Ryzen. There we go. 70 or 7 7800X 3D. I got the uh, Vengeance RGB DDR5, 32 gigs, 6,000 memory, okay. I got my flash drive with uh, all the, the firmware update to the motherboard already, and then the, um, <laughs> and all the drivers, okay. This is the RTX 3080 Ti, which I'm going to put in there. So I have a 4090, 
and I have a 3080 Ti. Okay, this is going to replace the 1080 Ti. So it's going to be quite a boost in performance. Same thing with the processor, motherboard, memory. And uh, I'll do a quick unboxing and then uh, we will install it on the computer. Okay, folks. So here we have it. This is a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. They call it the Gaming Overclock 12G or whatever, 12 gigabytes. So I've already been using this in another computer system. And here's the graphics card. Excellent. I already peeled off all the fancy stuff. It's all ready to go. It's a little bit smaller than the 4090, but still, it's bigger than the 1080 Ti. <laughs> so anyway, that's step one. Step two, ROG Strix B650E-E Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Okay, let's open it up real quick. That little stuck right here. So if you open this up, it has a little compartment. It's probably the Wi-Fi that's in this one. And I am never good at this stuff. So that it's the Wi-Fi part. Here's the motherboard. There you have it. Okay, real nice. Processor, memory. Um, yeah. So if I remember correctly, and you know they they got all this stuff to protect the. Uh, I think this says lighting. Okay. I hate all this plastic stuff on here. I don't know if they have anything. Yeah, they got another one right here. Crud, folks. Anyway, you can put it in here. I think this is still a PCIe 4, right next to the graphics card. You can put it in here, which is, I think, a PCIe 3. If you put it in here, um, it disables, I think, two of these ports. If you put it here, it doesn't, but it runs at uh, generation three instead of generation four. And then I think I have two more of uh, the NVMe um, um, parts there. But I gotta look at my uh, computer because it's probably all SSDs. Okay, and then if we look on the sides, there's your sound. This is your uh, CPU fan, optional. These are your headers for your lights. Your, um, I also have it over here too, case fans. I got one right here. USB-C hookup to the um, case. There's another fan header. USB 3. There's your SATA. There's four of them. Yeah, on the A7 uh, or A67E, it's over here. So they got the clock here instead of over there. And if we look at this part. Uh-huh, I knew it. Wi-Fi antenna, speaker system, that's uh, the, uh, was it optical? You hook it up to a TV, USB-C, there's, uh, I think that's the 10 gigabytes, yeah. 
all these are 10 gigabytes. As for your bias, where I put my uh, uh, USB card in or the stick, so USB 2, I think, and USB 3. I'm not sure. Okay. Two and a half gigabytes network, HDMI, and um, display port right here. Okay. And that's if you're going to use the internal graphics. But now I'm going to use the 3080 Ti. So. That's that. Let's open up the top part just to show you what's underneath. So here's your manuals. Yeah. They don't give you a CD anymore. They got some stickers. I don't think anything's there except for underneath here. And these are where you have your cables. I already have cables hooked up, so won't be using it. Yeah, for your keys or something like that. Uh, this is for the uh, NVMe. Put them into the motherboard. I think these are just little stickers. Ties. So anyway, that's what we have for the motherboard. Okay. So, here's the DDR5 Vengeance. You turn them over and make them fit. So, put it in this one. Same thing with this one. And uh, since I only have two sticks, you want it on the two slots. There you go. And I think a CAS on here is a 35 okay no a 36 and, uh, by the way i opened up that box here's the uh wi-fi and i like this one because you just open it up like that it's not part like the old ones like on the uh what the uh, b450s and uh the uh, 570s, whatever. It's much better. And it will hook up right here. So let's do the processor now. Here we go. Here's the processor. Open up the box. Lift it up. Yeah, there's a case on top of that. There's the uh, instructions. Year warning or three year warning. Okay, that's good. I'll just put this aside. Let's open this bad boy up. Now, make sure you don't touch. The pins are on the socket, not on the processor. And you look for the star, which should go this area. And you'll see a little star right here. I don't know if you can see it. I can probably zoom it a little bit. It's right there. Let me flash the light on it. Okay, is that better? So you're looking right here, okay? That's what you're looking for. That little star right here. Not the star with the star. You just slide it in gently. Make sure it's heated well. And I'm gonna turn off my uh, light to the cell phone. Close the lid. Now you just lock it in. And the final thing is to put the video card on. So I got the uh, GPU uh, graphics box. And, and I keep all the packages. So if I decide to resell it, 
or ship it to someone. It's in the main box. Usually the computers, they sell the whole thing. I don't like taking the parts out unless uh, something fails, but uh, just put it in. And now right here. And of course, there we go. Just make sure it's, yeah. And there you go. And I'm going to use a, a far shot and the uh, TV1 Mark II. And I'll expand it out. There you go. So you see, this is an ATX motherboard. Look how big this card is. <laughs> there, there's the edge of the motherboard and it hangs out. And the 4090 is bigger. It's like three lanes. So this is only two. It's very quiet. And uh, I say it's pretty cool. So anyway, I got now two gigabytes. I got the 3080 Ti and then I got the 4090. So I like these cards. They're pretty good. EVGA, uh, the owner retired. So anyway, I'll just stick with gigabyte. Some people don't like Gigabyte or, or others. Me, I don't care. If the card works, it performs well, I don't care. That's what I want. So, let me go back here to the streamer. Uh, thank you for watching. This is part one. So, uh, I've already done three videos with the stabilization on the uh, Nikon Z30 with the uh, 12 to 28 uh, wide uh, zoom lens. And uh, now I'm going to have to uh, put this computer together. So this is called uh, upgrading the, uh, um, what is it? I, I think I called it the old fashioned computer. To the new one so the i7 7700k to the uh, rising 7800x 3d i'll call it something like that so i might just call it the uh, upgrading the old uh, computer uh I got some memories about that uh, when my ma my wife passed away. I uh, built that computer, and uh, it was top notch back then. It's not anymore. Of course, the seventy seven hundred was wasn't there long. They had some heating problems, and then they when uh, Ryzen came out with their newer processors, like the sixteen hundreds and you know, the first Ryzen generation, they uh, went to the uh, sixth generation, 12 thread, uh, 8000 series. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you in that part two. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.